Hello everyone and welcome back to our DCYA read-throughs. Today we're continuing our read-through of Whistle a Gotham, a new Gotham City hero. Now, overall impressions of this comic so far is kind of just okay. <laughs> I don't think that it's by any means uh, a good role model for good writing. I find the most annoying part of the comic to be the scene-to-scene -scene transitions. They're very choppy. In, in general, there are just many scenes that could be completely cut out of this comic. And the only reason I can really figure why they'd be left in there is because they just needed the comic to be longer, I guess? So now we get to where we left off we find out that Pamela Isley is actually Poison Ivy. Who would have guessed that the girl who wanted to make Downriver greener is the one who's been greening everything? I, I couldn't make that connection. Part four, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And of course, our main character, Willow, waking up in the hospital after being attacked by Killer Croc in the last read-through. My face hurts. My shoulder. I'm bruised all over, but finally I am awake. That scar across her face is gonna look brutal. Scars don't matter. I thought she might die. I love her so much. Oh, this is supposed to be like her mom talking. Oh, no, it's E. Oh, okay, then I was doing the right voice. <laughs> There's no one in the hall, so what am I hearing? How can I be hearing them in the cafeteria? My hearing is super powered. I don't know why you had to <laughs> separate that into sentences. While I was in the hospital, I experimented with my hearing. I found that I listen best to people I'm already connected to and that I hear as far as several blocks away. Welcome home. This stray Great Dane got into the building somehow. She seemed hurt and kept pawing at our door. You came looking for me? Are you okay, puppy? And then the dog speaks. Yeah, your mom is super nice. <laughs> I, I guess this is how the dog finally comes into play. After the attack, she can speak to animals? I didn't think we were going that direction, but okay. I'm, I'll, I'll see where this goes. I think there's some of you and me and some of me and you. Nani? What the fuck does that mean? Don't get bestiality in this comic. We're keeping her. She's such a special dog. I thought you couldn't keep her because of the apartment rules. Yeah, comic can't stay consistent. Some of her and me and some of me and her. That explains my hearing. Hey yo, what the fuck? She can hear really good because she has a dog's hearing? Is that what they're implying? Okay. Current state of Willow, guilt, betrayal, ugly scar, dog-related power? I want to sniff everybody I meet. Even Liam. I want to chase every tennis ball I see. It's torture holding myself back. And sometimes they fail. It was so embarrassing. There's nothing embarrassing about fetching a ball. Did I tell you I almost laid down and showed my belly to several different people? Oh, don't do that for just anyone. Be selective. You fucking slut. <laughs> Did that croc monster F you up? I'm worried about you. I just don't feel like myself. It's called puberty, huh? <laughs> How did we go from, are you okay? You just went through a traumatizing experience to actually your experience isn't validating your behavior. What? What? Shouldn't you, shouldn't you be say it's called trauma? Not it's called puberty, huh? What a terrible interaction. <laughs> Jeez. You know what? I think this comic is actually getting worse. It started off okay. Now we're... Mm, now we're going downhill. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling this. Excuse me, the vice principal asked to see Garfield Logan. No. No. Did they not say his full name before? I did not think that was supposed to be Garfield Logan. Oh, fuck. That went completely over my head. Oh, fuck a duck. Oh, god damn it. I guess this is supposed to be Beast Boy. All right, fine. Damn it, he's fucking nothing like Garfield Logan. Ugh. Anyway, 
Toasted almond is better, to me at least. No way. Seriously, I eat a toasted almond like every day after school. Here, try. Mmm. Mm I can't believe this conversation led up to a kiss. You know, you, you would think that, you know, female writers, they write young adult um, books. You think that they would know how to write romance. It blows me away every single time. It says Poison Ivy greened the mosque on Desmond Avenue. She choked it in grass. Maybe we can stop her. Be the change you want to see in the world. Somehow I lost track of that. Come on, you want to be a superhero? You need to train. What's she gonna do? Work out a little bit? <laughs> Push-ups, squats, sit-ups, chit-ups, rep after rep. I mean, I'll, I'll give the writer credit here. At least they bothered to put in something of a training montage, but this is basically just normal workouts. I mean, what, what is she gonna do? She's gonna just go up to Poison Ivy and beat her up? We train my super-powered sense of smell. Okay, that's a little bit more better. Train, train using your powers. Do something specific that will actually come into play based on what the heck you're gonna be doing. I guess she's gonna just beat her up though, <laughs> based on like this going on over here. So, how's Naomi? I wanted to call her when you got hurt, but I didn't think I should be the one to tell her you were working for me. Turns out she needs surgery. Are you sure you want to hear about my plans? Come back to work? All that? I'm sure. So let me explain, Pammy's attacks lower real estate prices. <laughs> no fucking way, that's the reason. Oh, fuck off, comic. If we make the community centers usable, churches, libraries, mosques, and restaurants, people become less connected to the neighborhood. They're actually trying to just... The only reason for attacking is, or in the town or whatever, is just so they can lower the housing costs. So that people won't want to go there. Oh god. Legal, illegal, doesn't matter to me. Really? The money I earn working for you is saving my mom's life. For that, you can always trust me. Oh, you delightful girl. Thank you for agreeing to meet me. I was so worried about you after the croc attack. Celery, kale, lime, and cayenne pepper. Oh, and you have paper straws, right? They make no fucking difference whatsoever. I hate paper straws so much. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Never try to slurp a slushy with a fucking paper straw. It don't work. It don't work. Nigma will be clearing a big chunk of downriver for me to work on. The plants will reclaim the land from the city. Wow. It's kind of ironic that she's like, I'm going to destroy all of these businesses, but then she's shopping at all of these businesses. You're enjoying all of this stuff, but then you're also like, oh, I'm gonna destroy all of this. Don't you think that's gonna, like, make everything worse? Including life for yourself? <laughs> you brought friends? Not on purpose. I think they heard the whistle, too. Well, she can talk to them, too, right? Right? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how this works. <laughs> oh, they're targeting Rosen Brothers. We have to stop them. It should have occurred to me that becoming a hero would involve a serious fashion change. Too silly and shows too much ass. Psh, you ain't got an ass. Downriver dog, dog run after school. I've been thinking. What about? Maybe I should bite. You know, Pammy. If I just bit Pammy, like if I was a rabbit dog or something, she went to the hospital, then she couldn't green anything. We can't fight that way. What do you mean? You've been, like, practicing beating up a fucking... <laughs> Whatever. Pammy plans to do the greeting at 5 a.m. She doesn't want to commit crimes in broad daylight anymore. Who the hell are you? Really? You can't tell? <laughs> I'm here to stop you. That's all you need to know. Thank you, kickboxing class. Oh yeah, but, but biting is not... Biting's no good. Plants are the rightful inhabitants of Gotham. It's the Earth that's suffering. There are no plants to call on in here. My scissors are at your throat. But biting is off limits, dog. Don't bite her. That's a last resort. I'll slit her throat with scissors, but don't bite her, dog. Please. Please, that's too much. Don't, don't do that. Silly girl. There's always a plant somewhere. They come when I call. Chase them. 
Good planties. Great job, my darlings. We need real weapons for next time. Yes, we do. We need weapons, but don't bite her. This is some motherfucking shit right here. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I was right. The comic is getting worse. There we go. The Riddler, formerly one of Mo Gotham's most lunatic villains, but he's been lying low. Took you long enough, Riddler. I got your text. What's the fuss? You seem to have things well in hand. Those two assholes are on some kind of crusade to save the delicatessen. Let me introduce myself. They call me the Riddler. Stop destroying Down River or you'll regret it. Oh, shush. I gather you're not stupid. Then why interfere with me? The human cost of these greenings is too high, Riddler. No one's been hurt. People have lost their homes, their communities. Boo hoo. They have home insurance. <laughs> Ivy, give her the poison kiss and her little dog, too. You said she's got powers, right? Some kind of powers, yeah. She talks to the dog and who knows what else. So go on, then. You're the boss. My whistle is the only thing I have to try. What, is she gonna, like, summon more dogs to Oh god, she actually is. She's gonna summon dogs to save her. I really don't like dogs. Me neither. Childhood trauma. <laughs> Thanks, puppies. You're the best. Wham. That's it. One punch? <laughs> hmm. I almost forgot that this was a DCYA book, you know? Who are you? Call me Whistle. And this here is the Hound. Leave down river alone, or you'll answer to us. Me and my canine army. And then wee wah, wee wah. I could hear the sirens long before the Riddler could. I let him go with the warning. Wait, you, you, you let him escape? Why didn't you tie him up until police came? That's such a basic superhero thing to do. <laughs> oh, you did it for, for Poison Ivy, but you didn't do it for him? Or she was, oh, she wasn't tied up either. She was just passed out for the whole entire night. She'll talk her way out of it, but maybe a few hours at the station will slow her down a little. <clears throat> yeah, sure. <clears throat> Whatever you say. 8.20 a.m., a school day. I don't feel great about this double life. Then stop! Why did you let him go? Why did you let him go? Duty calls, and I'm prepared. Okay, robbery going on. What are you, what are you gonna do? I'm so unconvinced. I even got a training montage with her and I'm still so unconvinced that she's actually good at taking down criminals. Excuse me, I don't think that's your money, kick, catch. She hit him with the back of the scissors? You can't get any fucking... I can't believe I ever complimented this comic. I take it all back. This fucking sucks. <laughs> Hello, do you realize how you're contributing to the troubles in our neighborhood? And then she lectures him! Oh, she lectures him afterwards. Wait, she lets him. Oh no, she tied him up that time. She, she tied him up. At least she tied him up. I am Whistle, and this is the Hound. We protect Down River. Are you though? Are you actually protecting Down River? You helping some guy do something illegal, under the assumption that he'll just stop doing illegal stuff. You're friends with, like, a terrorist, essentially, who you believe is gonna be let out of jail. I don't know about that. I'm not convinced. That's where the series ends. Alright. This was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It takes forever. It, like, over half the story goes by, and she doesn't even get, like, maybe it's like roughly half. Half of the graphic novel goes by, and then she finally gets her superpowers. I don't really understand how she gets her superpowers. I don't understand, like, how her DNA mixes with the dog, and I, I don't get it. But whatever. Okay. She suddenly has superpowers. Fine, whatever. Maybe that should have happened earlier in the comic, just to make the first half a little bit more exciting. But the funny part is I actually enjoyed the first half better. Because it's clear that the writer doesn't know what the fuck, what the fuck she's doing with writing a superhero comic to begin with. And of course, you know, the scene's super choppy. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Very amateur. There are entire scenes that could just be cut out of the book and nothing changes. So yeah, no good. No good. What a surprise, another DCYA comic is not good. It's like a miracle whenever I find one of these books that I actually enjoy, you know? 
most of them are just like amateur at best and horrible <laughs> and like really bad at the worst there's definitely been a, a couple of dc ya books that are so bad they actually like ruin my day <laughs> they depress me and you know your book is bad when you throw the reader into a depression but we're gonna end it here so let me know what dc ya book you'd like me to read next i got a list of ones that I still have to read. And those are like absolutely have to read against my will books. Uh, but there are new ones coming out every year. Every year they just keep making them. Uh, I'll get to those when they actually do come out. And uh, yeah, comment down below what you'd, what you'd like to see me read next. And if not DCYA books, you know, just give a random suggestion. It's all right. I'll still look at your suggestion regardless. Like the video if you did enjoy. Help support the channel. For the love of God, help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Program restart.